India made history with the Chandrayaan-3 mission. They successfully landed on the south pole of the moon, making India the first country to achieve this incredible feat. Here are some key findings from this historic mission. On August 23, the Chandrayaan-3 lander module touched down the lunar surface at the south pole, and the first objective of the mission, demonstration of safe and soft landing on the lunar surface, is accomplished. This is a significant achievement and demonstrates India's expertise in space exploration. ISRO used a two-segment ramp to smoothly roll down the rover from Vikram lander onto the moon's surface. The rover was equipped with a solar panel to generate power and were deployed before rolling down. Thus, Pragyan started its journey of lunar exploration. About the next day, payloads of lander and rover were turned on. On August 27, ISRO reported that they recorded surprisingly high temperature on the moon's surface. The lunar topsoil temperature measured with the CASI payload on board the Vikram lander reached 70 degrees Celsius, much higher than the expected 20 to 30 degrees. But just under 8 cm below the surface, it's around minus 10 degrees Celsius. On the same day, the rover encountered a 4 meter diameter crater. ISRO quickly commanded the rover to change its path, ensuring its safety. On August 30, the Pragyan rover detected the presence of sulfur on the lunar surface near the South Pole using a laser-induced breakdown spectroscope instrument. Additionally, the rover identified other elements like aluminum, calcium, iron, chromium, titanium, manganese, silicon and oxygen. Pragyan rover captured an iconic image of the Vikram lander on the same day. As of September 2, the Pragyan rover had traveled over 100 meters on the moon's surface, exploring the South Pole region. These findings are a proof of India's dedication to lunar exploration and will undoubtedly contribute to your understanding of the moon's South Pole region. On September 2, the Pragyan rover on the moon was safely parked and put into sleep mode. They turned off all the payloads transmitting data back to Earth. The battery was fully charged and solar panel was positioned to catch the next sunrise on September 22. The receiver stayed on with hopes for a successful reawakening for more tasks. On September 4, Vikram exceeded its mission goals by successfully executing a hop experiment, elevating itself by about 40 cm and landing safely nearby. This achievement is important for future lunar missions. All systems were in good shape and experiments were conducted by other payloads before Vikram went to sleep next to Pragyan with plans to wake up around September 22. It's an exciting time for space enthusiasts and a proud moment for India. Thanks for watching.